Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Pain Capital Management, along with our chief investment officer, the man with the plan. And yes, is my dad, Bob Payne. Good morning, dad. What's shaking here? How's uh, the quarantine life treating you right now? You know, Ryan, every morning I get up, I press my suit, put on my tie, and I go to work. You know what? I'm impressed. That is truly the sign of a professional as far as I'm concerned. Well, if you believe that, I've got some swamp land I want to sell you down in Florida. Yes. If I can take the sweatpants off today, it's, it's been a good day, right? And <laughs> put on for sure. Thank God they didn't create those video phones back in the 70s they were talking about the World's Fair. Well, we've got a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about getting yourself positioned for the win. As Bob likes to say, the world doesn't end very often. Eventually, things are going to get better, and it's time to start preparing now. We are going to tell you exactly how to position your portfolio for the inevitable economic rebound. We're going to talk about cleaning out your financial closet. Since you're now in quarantine, you have no excuse not to finally organize your finances. Bob and I are going to break down how to finally put your financial life in order, along with this week's financial propaganda. There's a lot of news out there in the media that just needs to be avoided at all costs. We're going to talk about the good news, the bad news, the financial media has been disseminating this week. And we have this week's spotlight segment. We have our certified financial planner, my colleague, Bob's colleague, Courtney C. Money Dominguez on the show. She's going to break down a real retirement plan for you. Hey, this is Ryan Payne. For all our podcast listeners right now, it's a crazy time. It's extremely volatile. And you're probably thinking to yourself, what should I be doing with my portfolio, my retirement plan? What changes should I be making? What we're offering right now, if you have over $500,000 saved for retirement, put together our financial planning game plan. You simply need to go to www.paincm.com slash game plan. What we'll do is do a full analysis of all your portfolios, we're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal. We can start looking at all those critical things. You know, what kind of income are you generating? What kind of diversification do you have? What kind of protection do you have in your portfolio? We're going to break it all down for you. We're going to run some retirement projections, start looking at what you should be saving for retirement. What have you saved for retirement? When do you want to be financially independent? We're going to answer all those questions, put it together for you. And we're going to do it for free. Simply go to www paincm.com slash game plan. That's www.paincm.com slash game plan. During these volatile times, why are quarantining? We'll build you that personalized portal. We'll figure out where you should be going, what changes you should be making to your portfolio. So take advantage of it. Simply go to www.paincm.com slash game plan. We'll put together a game plan for you today. It's time for Financial Propaganda of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call it the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance so we can help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. So Bob, you know, lots been going on this week. You and I, as always, have like every article written under the sun going back and forth. You know, there's a lot going on. We've had a huge rally from the bottom here in the markets and you're starting to see some of the news come in worse than ever, but the market rebounding, which is kind of a crazy place to be, but this is something you and I've been talking about for a while, is the market is typically ahead of the news. Yeah, it really is, right? It's why the, the media is such a danger to your financial health. You know, they're always looking for some event to, to explain the market move. But you know, how do you explain when you came out with 6.6 uh, .6 million more unemployed, which brought the number up to 17 million just a week ago? And the market rallied a thousand points. I mean, what's the media going to say about that? Yeah, and they can't say anything about that. It's the problem because the news is a lagging indicator, not a leading indicator. And the market is going to start looking for when are things going to get better. And it's hard. We talked about this before, but when the Great Recession happened, the market bottomed in March of 2009, but the economy didn't bottom for another five months. So the news was getting worse and worse and worse. But the market was already on its upward trajectory, which lasted, as we know, for like 11 years. It's always ahead of, of what really is happening because of the discounting mechanism. It looks forward, you know, anywhere from three to 30 months 
And that's the way you have to think about it when it comes to investing. I mean, we, we talk about it week in and work week out about how financial propaganda from the media is really about them. It's about them selling advertising, not giving you an informed view on how to invest in your portfolio. First of all, they don't even know you. Exactly right. They don't know you. They don't know what your goals are. And I think right now the most dangerous thing, but I'm seeing this all the time, is again, no one predicted this was going to happen. You know, I've heard people say that they predicted it, but come on, no one yeah. predicted this was going to happen. And I think the most dangerous thing now is you might be looking to deploy your cash or make decisions, is you have a lot of people telling you they know what's going to happen next. You know, you hear about a V-shaped recovery, a W-shaped recovery, meaning the mark's going to go up a little bit further. Then you're going to realize the economy's not moving as quickly as everyone would like to the upside, and we're going to get another crash in the market. Nobody knows, Bob. And it's such a bad way to make investment decisions. It's just my biggest pet peeve. The biggest problem with that, Rye, is that you know when you have a market that's down, the media rolls out people that are always negative, people that have never made any money in the market. No, They bring out people who told you that they were thinking perhaps maybe the market was overpriced in January. And they didn't tell you. And now they're telling you exactly what's going to happen minute by minute, week by week, second by second, as if they know. Anybody can predict what happened with hindsight. I picked every Super Bowl champion <laughs> the Monday after the Super Bowl for the last 60 years. You have a skill, Bob. We didn't know what it was, but now we figured it out. Great Monday morning quarterback. But no, you know, that, that is a lot of these prognosticators. And one that really, really, really annoyed me this past week was you had one of these prognosticators talking about like, look, if you think you know what's going to happen and you have more answers and questions right now, then you're an idiot, is what he said, quote unquote. If you think you can see the future, well, guess what? We never know. And when the uncertainty is the greatest, and right now the uncertainty is the greatest because we don't know when everybody's going back to work. Well, historically, that's always your best time to buy. Once there is an inkling of certainty, the market's not going to sell off on that. The market's going to accelerate. Even if the news is bad, it's because now at least it knows where we are. It's, it's a very important point, a nuanced point, really. And that's the other thing. That's why you need to be a long-term investor because investing is so counterintuitive. You know, the negative news is out there. Why is the market going up? As the market's going down and news was good, why is that happening? You know, it doesn't seem to make sense because there isn't any one-to-one -one correlation to what's being announced to the public, you know, because once it's announced to the public and once you and I are reading it, yeah. everybody already knew it. It's already priced in. You know, you're not sitting there in an island getting inside information. There is no such thing. It's already yeah. incorporated in, and there's millions of people acting on that information long before you even knew it was there. And the worst thing you can do, and we all do it, is say, well, I just have a feeling, Bob. I just have a <laughs> feeling, you know, things are going to get worse here before they get better. Never go with your emotional gut. It doesn't help you as an investor. And this is why investing needs to be a discipline based on your goals, because once you have a feeling that feels better, Opportunity's lost. You know, markets already. I had a, had a client say to me the other day, well, when the market's up 30%, then we can get back in. Well, it doesn't matter anymore. You lost the opportunity. That, that takes away from your long term returns, and you might as well not even own stocks at all. You know, we learned that lesson, Rye, back in 2000 and 2008 and 2009 is as an investor, when you get out of the market because of the fear of the future, a fear of negative news, or because of your feeling, you never really get back in because you just keep seeing the negatives. You know, no one waves, waves a flag. No one rings the bell. No one tells you it's safe. It's all clear. That's why you have to be a diversified portfolio holder. You have to be invested for dividends and interest and appreciation over time. You know, Warren Buffett's the wealthiest guy in the world. That's how he does it. Why not emulate a genius? Why create mediocrity when you can imitate genius? And the other point right now is, you know, 40 to 50% of your and return in the stock market is income. And income is such an important part of your retirement plan. Whether you're going to take that income now and use it or re-diversify it over your portfolio, you're not going to get that if you're sitting in cash, you know, waiting for that perfect moment, which is never going to arrive anyway. Hey, right. You know, cash is yielding zero. Federal Reserve took rates down last month to zero. Great for the economy. Horrible for your financial plan. You know, zero net of 2% inflation is a negative 2% return guaranteed. I don't give many guarantees out on this show. I guarantee you're going to lose 2% a year in purchasing power if you sit in cash. Get that money invested. Cash is trash. You know, you need an emergency fund, but come on, let's not have all our money in cash and call it an emergency fund. So if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need a game plan. I need to get a proactive strategy here that's not based on 
what everyone thinks is going to happen next, but it's based on my goals. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next five callers and you have over $500,000 saved for retirement, myself and Bob will run for you our total financial master plan. We'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic financial review where we look at the big picture to help you make better decisions about your financial plan. All you need to do is get those statements. You can send them over our secure email and we're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal so you can get your total financial picture at a bird's eye view. We can start making all those critical decisions. Do you have an income plan? How are you going to draw on your portfolio in retirement? We're going to show you how to optimize and create an income plan on your portfolio for retirement. And we're going to look at diversification. Did you get hit really hard when the market sold off in March? Do you have a game plan moving forward? Bob and I are going to show where all the hidden risks are in your portfolio. Show you how to protect your portfolio for retirement. And we're going to look at fees and taxes. There's a lot of hidden costs in your portfolio. You probably don't know you're paying in those insurance products, annuities, mutual funds, brokerage products. We're going to show you where all the hidden costs are in your portfolio, show you how to reduce costs, and then optimize your portfolio for taxes. With all this market volatility, there's so many things you can do from a tax perspective. Everything from Roth conversions, generating tax-free income, tax swaps. We're going to show you how to save on taxes so there's more money in your pocket. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan and determine that most critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now, our family has literally worked on for over 45 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. If you're one of our next five callers and you've saved over 500000 for your retirement, Ryan and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost. There won't be a plan unless you text or call. That's 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob, and I'm with my son, Ryan. We're the pains of No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. So, Bob, we're now in the depths of this bear market, and I think it's a foregone conclusion that we're basically going to be in a recession, right? At this point, the numbers don't look great going out this quarter, next quarter. So, you know, at this point, instead of going back and trying to label what just happened, I think it's really important to start to look forward consider what the likeliest outcome or what's going to happen from here and make sure that our listeners are best prepared for the inevitable, you know, rebound in the economy and ideally the market. Well, you know, first of all, Ryan, I think everybody needs to forgive themselves for not seeing it coming. And I think most of you do know that, that this was a true black swan event, you know, something that no one predicted came rapidly, devastated the market so quickly But here's the thing. You got to move forward. You can't have a strategy of I could have, I would have, and should have, because that'll just drive you crazy and won't get you to your financial goals. Yeah. It's like your old Bob is, it's okay to be wrong, but it's not okay to stay wrong. So if you're thinking to yourself right now, like, I don't want to look at my statements. I was an idiot. I should have gotten out of the market. You couldn't have predicted it. But I think the worst thing you can do right now is not address the issues because now when things are down, the world's in flux. It's like the best time to make some proactive decisions when it comes to your financial plan and your investment portfolio. I think that's the best advice we've been giving our clients over the last couple of weeks. Say, hey, don't stick that uh, statement in the shredder. Don't put it in the drawer. Open it. You know, we need to take steps to move forward. So when this comes out and, you know, we get to the other side of the valley, we're going to be in a position to win, win big. And we got to take the steps now that are necessary to position that portfolio. You know, Rye, one thing I learned out of this, Number one thing that I learned that it reinforced of all the years that I've been in the business, diversification works. Yes, because again, we couldn't have predicted this was going to happen, but by always having your portfolio prepared, and that's what we call the proverbial all-weather portfolio, no matter what happens, you're well-positioned with your portfolio. And I think that's more important than ever now because number one, okay, we couldn't have predicted somehow there was going to be a pandemic at the beginning of the year and the entire global economy was going to shut down. I don't know about you, Bob, but I didn't read that anywhere. And my crystal ball broke like 20 years ago when I got in the business. No, yeah, absolutely. Right. And it doesn't work going forward. Nobody, nobody can predict yeah. when everybody's going to go back to work and when your earnings are going to come back up, but they will. 
So here's the thing. You got to take some steps. First thing you do is look at your portfolio. Number one, is your safe money truly safe money? Was it in those dreaded bond funds that Ryan talks about every week? You know, the first thing you have to do, Ryan, is address the safe side of your portfolio and get it safe, correct? Yes, because just because you own bonds doesn't mean they're safe. And we hit on this every single week. Bond funds are not safe. There's a lot of low quality credits in these bond funds. And you may have seen your bond fund go down. And we're thinking to yourself, aren't my bonds supposed to go up when the market goes down? When bond funds, a lot of times that's not the case. That's not truly a safe investment, not something you want to have in your portfolio. So if you're still in those bond funds, might be time to get out, Bob. Yeah, you want to make sure that you have an investment grade portfolio because those bonds did really well, right? They came through this in flying colors. So people are getting their interest on time. The uh, AA ratings are secure. Good investment grade quality portfolio bonds is doing wonderfully. Now, the other thing is don't give up on stocks. I mean, look at your stock portfolio and see, are you truly diversified, right? If you had all your money in Amazon, yeah, okay, you're a genius. But let's face <laughs> it, you know, Amazon doesn't pay a dividend. And you need to live on dividends, right? And, and that's the great thing about equities. Dividend yields are really high right now. If you run a diversified portfolio right now, and we're looking at this with just our model portfolios, you're getting like 4% just in cash flow. And odds are, if you run a financial plan, you might not need more than a 5% return on your money long term. If that's the case, you can cover most of that right now with just the dividends and interest that a diversified portfolio pays. And that has nothing to do if the market's going to go up from here, down from here, because I got to be honest, Bob, I have no idea in the short term and nobody else does either. Well, hey, right. That, that's the problem with the media, right? We see headlines. Ford cut their dividend. All the airlines got a big bailout this week. They're cutting their dividends until you know September, October. But, you know, Meanwhile, great companies like Procter & Gamble and Johnson & Johnson, they increased their dividend this week. They not only paid the dividend, they increased it. And in both of those cases, it's like the 40th or 50th yeah. year in a row of consecutive dividend increases. Yeah. And last time I looked, they didn't actually up the interest on my money market fund. <laughs> so no. that's the other thing. If you're sitting in a money market fund right now and rates have come down, you might feel safe. You have the money there, but it's just not earning anything. And remember, this pandemic is temporary. This decline in the economy is temporary. As Bobby like to say, the world doesn't end very often, but your goals are not temporary. You, know, you need to grow your money over inflation. You're going to need income in retirement. If you're planning on retiring, if you're retired now, You've got to get that game plan together and you can't wait for things to settle down because by that time it's too late. Yeah. And you know, Ryan, the market reduced your asset allocation just by simply going down, your balanced portfolio became unbalanced. So don't be afraid to go back in and buy some equities here while they're on sale. The valuations are the best now that you've had in the last four or five years. So yeah, you may not make money tomorrow, but who cares? You're going to get your dividends. You're going to get your interest. You're going to get on track and you want to be proactive and start taking those steps to be in a position to win and win big when we come out of this pandemic. If you're thinking to yourself right now, this is what I need. I need to get positioned for the win. I need to be proactive with my financial plan. Well, here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $500,000 saved for retirement, myself and Bob will run for you our total financial master plan. And we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we're going to look at everything for you. All you need to do is email us your statements through a secure server. We're doing everything through video chat right now while we're quarantining. We're going to take all that information and we're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal. You can view while you're sitting home in your robe, hanging out during the day and get a bird's eye view and assessment of your entire financial picture so you can start making good decisions. We're going to look at everything from income. Income is so critical in retirement. Do you have an income plan? How are you going to draw from your portfolio in retirement? Where is that income going to come from? We're going to show you how to build an income plan for retirement. We're going to look at diversification. Did you get hit really hard with this market downturn? Did you have any protection in your portfolio? We're going to show you how to properly diversify and bulletproof your portfolio for retirement so you stay protected for the rest of your life. And we're going to look at fees and taxes. There's a lot of hidden costs in your portfolio you don't know you're paying. We're going to show you where all those hidden costs are. Then we're going to show you how to optimize your portfolio. Right now, there's so many things you can do from tax swaps. You can do Roth conversions. There's so many ways to save on taxes, tax-free bonds that generate tax-free income for retirement. We're going to show you how to do all that. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, utilizing strategies now we've worked on for over 45 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. 
And all you have to do is call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or you can simply just call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. If you're one of our next 10 callers, you've saved over 500000 for retirement. Ryan and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost. But there won't be a plan unless you text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne, and I'm socially distancing with my son, Rye Payne. And we're the pains of no pain, no gain, financial radio. Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And of course, that's P-A-Y-N-E. And Bob and I want to make sure you get most common sense, practical advice with your planning and investing. And that's why we put together our latest guide. We give you five ways to save on taxes. You now have to July to do your taxes. So we give you five ways to do it right now with all this market volatility, a great time for tax strategies. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's bullish, B U. L-L-I-S-H to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. We give you five ways to save on taxes, give you updates on some of the new rules around taxes. So you can make all the best decisions right now while the markets are volatile. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And I've got to imagine now that you've been trapped in your house and you're quarantining, which is my favorite verb right now, it's probably been a good time to do some decluttering. You might have started to clean up the yard, maybe getting it ready for spring, maybe those closets that were disorganized for years. You finally got a time to declutter those, not to mention all those drawers in the kitchen. And I thought we could look at some of those principles that you use when you're house cleaning and talk about how you can declutter your financial life. So Bob, how would you equate cleaning your closet out to cleaning out your financial life per se? Well, first of all, you know, I think, Over the years, every time I meet with someone and go through our 360 financial portal, it never ceases to amaze me, right, how little most of us really know about our financial assets and where they are. I know they're in that closet somewhere, right? Where's my will? Where's my life insurance? How are things titled? We had someone online the other day sent us 25 statements of investments, 25 yeah, it's like when you go through those drawers and you're like, oh my God, I forgot I had this like years later, you know, whatever it might be. I think I found a lighter from my cousin's wedding when I finally went through the drawers the other day. And the same thing, you forget about stuff that you have. So I think just doing that tally up while you're sitting at home right now and getting a really good bird's eye view of what you actually own is a great place to start. You know, tally up those assets, know what you have and know where to find them. And I just don't really understand it, right? Most of us, I mean, for some reason, when it comes to our total financial picture, we're like ostriches. We keep our head in the ground. You know, I mean, one of the reasons, and it's not because I don't like cleaning, right? And I don't like cleaning out the garage. One of the reasons why I haven't been able to do any of that, I've been working 14 hours a day, staying in touch with our clients and, you know, updating their 360 financial portal almost in every single instance. Didn't I tell you about this account? And don't you have this? How about this bank account I have over here? And, and, Oh, what about this 401k that I had from this company I worked at 20 years ago? How come that's not there? I think what happens is you surprise yourself. You're like, oh my God, I didn't realize this was my net worth. So even now, with this very, very painful, no pun intended, to see where everything is, some of the values right now you probably don't want to look at, I think it's very therapeutic, just like when you're cleaning out that closet, just to know where everything is and then start to put it in some sort of order, right? I mean, if you can start to say, okay, here's where all my insurance policies are. This is where all my retirement assets are. And then you can build a kind of a paint, say a paint, kind of a mosaic of where your entire financial life lies. You know, I think that's probably the reason why 90% of all investors take more risk than they need to in order to achieve their financial goals is because they never sit down and build that mosaic, right? And they never look at, you know, what do I have in this pocket versus that pocket? Look at the, they never look at the complete picture. And I think our industry has some blame to that because they, you know, we're taught from birth to diversify our eggs, right? Don't put all your eggs in one basket. But doesn't that lead to big problems? It's the biggest irony in our industry, right? You have money over here with your broker at Morgan Stanley, and maybe you have your 401k over here. 
and you have different advisors giving you different advice. But when you put it all in one spreadsheet, we like to do for you if you come into our office, what happens is you end up having a lot of the same investments. So you thought you were diversified and you're actually less diversified than you would have been if you had one person looking at everything. It's crazy. And then when you look at it in an overall picture and you see that even with this big decline in the stock market, your overall portfolio is probably not even down all that much. And the income that it generates is more than enough to overcome inflation and achieve your goals. But unless you have someone running those numbers for you, unless you have those projections made, you're sitting in fear right now. And that's the last thing we want you to do, especially as we're trapped in our homes you know, during this horrible time. Yeah, which brings us to that other maybe painful thing to do, but it's worth doing is get that budget line. Start to look at what you're actually spending. And right now is a great time to do it because you're probably not spending as much. So <laughs> you won't feel as guilty going through and you can start to get a tally up of like, what things do you really need to spend money on and what things don't you have to anymore? You're probably doing that anyway, because there's probably a lot of charges now that you're canceling because maybe you're not going to the gym anymore. Now's the time more than ever to clean up those expenses and get a real feel for what your expenses are going to be. Because from there, then you can start to really figure out what do I need to be saving right now? Have I saved enough? Am I going to be set for retirement? This is going to set the stage so you can answer all those questions. You know, Ryan, I thought my budget would look so much better now with all the restaurants closed and, you know, not going out to dinner and not spending mo- money on wine at dinner. And But Amazon's still open. And, and oh, my goodness, I think like every day I still bang into a box when I open my front door. You know, I think your mom is keeping the GDP up more than anybody really knows. <laughs> I think Amazon is helping us all be great Americans. And that means spending, spending, spending. We love to, we do love to spend as Americans. And debt is way down. I mean, uh, households are we're in much better shape now based on the amount of money we borrowed, but interest rates have dropped. So, you know, look at those interest rates that you're borrowing at. Take a look at your mortgage rate or any other borrowing cost. You know, now rates are a lot lower than they've been in any time in the last 10 years you want to take a look at, maybe it's time to refinance. I mean, you really want to take an opportunity to get your financial house in order. Hey, if you're thinking to yourself right now, boy, you know, Rye's so right about that. I've got a mess in that financial closet. I don't even want to take the opportunity to tackle it. I can't even think about tackling it right now. Well, here's your opportunity to let us help you. If you're one of our next eight callers, you've saved over 500,000 for retirement. Ryan, I will take all that raw data, all those statements, and we'll create for you your own personal 360 financial portal. Now, this is a financial GPS, not unlike the GPS you have in your car. We will map out not only where you are financially, but we'll also map out where you're going and report daily on your progress of your journey to financial independence. It will define a financial timeline and the best, most efficient route to achieve all of your financial goals. It'll help you to put your financial life on autopilot and help you to avoid the financial potholes and dead ends of a typical cookie cutter plan. In addition, it'll update your net worth daily in real time whenever you feel like taking the time to look at it. And this way, you'll always know where you are. But most importantly, you'll know where you're going. In addition, we're going to take all those statements that are coming in for the month of March. Now, I know some firms can't even mail out their statements right now because of the coronavirus, that the the workforce isn't there to even get your statement in the mail. But when you do get it, put it in a folder. Put it in a secure folder that we can send you that you can email us where we'll take that data and make sure that you're not sitting with a collection of investments, that you have the diversification that Rye talked about earlier on the show today. A truly diversified portfolio will not only survive this pandemic, but will thrive when we get to the other side. In addition, we'll see if you have the other key elements of a successful strategy, low cost, high income. You know, income is something we all need when we hit that gap that comes when we retire. You know, that paycheck no longer comes in. We need that income to fill the gap. And if you're retired right now, your number one goal is to keep it that way. And that requires dependable, repeatable income. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan where we'll answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for close to four decades. Can you believe it? For over 46 years, we've been helping families just like yours get from your financial point A to your financial point B, your goals, your dreams with your values, with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. So don't waste time. Give us a call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. 
If you're one of the next eight callers and you have over $500,000 saved for retirement at 844-752-6692, that's 844-752-6692. Here's your shot while you're at home quarantining. We're doing Zoom conference calls right now, and we're going to set up a secure portal to build for you your own personalized portal at 844-752-6692. That's call or text at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844 844- P-L-A-N-N-Y-C. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne. No pain, no gain. Financial Radio. And of course, that's P-A-Y-N-E. And if you want to learn more about myself and Bob, you can check us out on the World Wide Web. Simply go to bbullish.com. That's bbullish.com. You can actually subscribe to the show, get our show in podcast form, and learn more about our firm. Pain Capital Management, and yes, Bob's hair is real. That's bbullish.com. You can subscribe to the show, have come to your inbox every single week, and you can catch myself, other advisors of Pain Capital Management on all the major networks every week from Fox Business News, CNBC, Yahoo Finance, with our latest thoughts on the market, the economy. And if you ever have a question for myself or Bob, we actually answer all your questions directly. You just have to email us, questions at bbullish.com. That's questions at bbullish.com. And if it's a really good question, we actually answer them right here on the show. And like every week, we got some pretty good questions. And to help us with questions, we have our man in the studio, Dan Irving. Mr. Dan Irving, how's the quarantine life down there in uh, North Carolina, my friend? Hello, Ryan and Bob. I'm doing good. Got my stimulus money this week. I'm just waiting for places to open up so I can spend it. That's the that's the thing. You're getting this money, but it's like there's what nowhere, do do? To, <laughs> which will be good when the economy opens up again. Because man, you're gonna party like it's 1999. Yeah, exactly. Hey, hey Dan, when the show's over, I'll I'll take you up to my Amazon site and I'll give you a list of things you can buy for my birthday. <laughs> Sounds good, Bob. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Well, we got some great questions in the mailbag today. Our first question is from Dean in New York City, and Dean says, Bob. Would you recommend selling investment grade bonds and going into cash? Is this what you're currently doing? I don't need the cash for business or personal needs. Hey, Dean, that's a great question. I don't know if you're a listener of our show, but as you know, Ryan, I always talk about buying high quality individual bonds and not buying bond funds. But, you know, Ryan, here's the risk. If you're out there buying individual bonds on your own, if you're buying them from a stockbroker who's just selling you a bond based on its current rating, I can yes. tell you from being a stockbroker for you know almost 30 years, there's no way for any stockbroker or any individual investor to stay on top of the millions of individual bonds are out there. So yes, aren't we big believers in municipal bonds, right? High quality, but you need to use an institutional bond manager who watches them every single day. Yeah. So there's two things there, right? To your point, Bob, first off, discern. We don't like bond funds. You heard us say a hundred times because you don't own the underlying bonds and you want to have a return of principal, right? That's probably one of the most important things when it comes to the safe part of your portfolio. You want to have a return of your money. And the second thing to your point, Bob, is you want someone who's actually doing credit work just because it was an A rating when you bought it doesn't mean it is right now. And we can tell you it's getting really ugly in the credit markets You really, really have to know what you own right now. Absolutely. It's so critical. Yeah, I saw so many times in my career when someone would come in and we go over a portfolio that they own and, well, do you realize that this is a high risk bond? And they say, well, no, that pays its interest every six months, Bob, and it's going to come due in 10 years. How could that be high risk? Well, you know, there is a difference, right? I mean, we, I taught you as a, as a child, right? Never lend to your future father-in-law or son-in-law or, <laughs> or to your friends because you know what's going to happen. Not only you're not going to get any interest, you're not going to get paid back. So you should always lend your money to the highest quality institution. But just because it was high quality today doesn't mean it will be tomorrow. You need someone who knows what they're doing. Yeah. So your homework over the weekend here is go through your portfolio and understand every single bond that you own. If you don't own them, have a professional look at it. Thank you, Dean, for writing in. Our next question is from Ann in Wayne, New Jersey. Ann says, Ryan, is now a good time to build up cash instead of buying into this volatile market? As Bob likes to say, you have to invest in the market you have, not the market you want. Again, we have no idea when the volatility is going to end. And probably when it does, markets can be a lot higher. So, hey, you've got to have your emergency cash, Bob. We know that. It's extremely important. You need to have your big portfolio of bonds here. But to sit in money and cash and earn nothing right now is not a great long-term game plan. No, it's not. I mean, and the thing is, you do need a long-term game plan. You need to understand what you own. You got to know why you own it. 
And you've got to have an idea of what that portfolio is going to do net of inflation and taxation. And that's where planning comes in, right? Knowing how these assets are going to act and how to deploy that cash into the opportunities that the markets present almost on a daily basis. Yeah, I think the other important thing to think about here is it's like, what's the appropriate number for you, right? Money in the stock market, we call it a necessary evil. And the reason we say that is because, hey, you need the income. Right now, bond yields are extremely low. So a lot of times it's the income you can get, but also those dividends go up over time and you need your money to grow over inflation. So it's not about having too much risk or having too little risk can be a problem too. And again, sitting in cash, it's about having the right amount of risk to make sure that you get to your goals. And then you can determine how much do I sit in cash with? How much do I need to have in risk assets for longer term growth in my portfolio that I'm going to need down the line? Yeah, right. I mean, someday it's going to start raining and you don't want to be, you know, Noah, Noah built his ark long before it started raining, right? So you want to make sure that you have your plan. That's what your financial plan is, your ark, you know, to get you to your goals. And you just need to understand what it is you want to accomplish. And believe it or not, with the, with the amount of dividend yield you can get from equities today in a diversified portfolio, and you still can own a well-diversified, high-quality bond portfolio, there's enough income there to generate to overcome inflation and to get you to your goals in your lifetime. But you need to know what you said, what your number is. You need to know what your plan is. What What is your asset allocation? Not everybody else's, not everybody, other, every other pundit on TV's idea. So, Ryan, let me ask you a question. On a scale of one to 10 in terms of being financially organized, where would you rank Dean and Ann? I sense there's no real financial game plan here. So, Bob, no benevolence today. I got to give him a both a hard two. Sorry, hard they got two. a lot of work to do. Wow, Oof. that's pretty bad. So let me ask all of you out there as you're driving around and listening to us right now, on a scale of one to 10, in terms of being financially organized and knowing where you're going financially, what would Ryan give you? Better yet, what would your spouse rank you? Would they give you a 10? Well, if not, why wouldn't you want to be? And here's your opportunity. Hey, if you're one of our next three callers and you saved over 500000 for retirement, you know, Ryan and I will create for you your own 360 financial portal, a way for you to become totally financially organized. It's a financial GPS, you know, not unlike the one you have in your car, where it tells you exactly where you are right now, but it maps out where you're going and reports daily on your progress of your journey to financial independence. See, our financial GPS will define your financial timeline and create the best, most efficient route to achieve all of your financial goals. It'll put your financial life on autopilot and help you to avoid the financial potholes and dead ends of a typical cookie cutter plan you might get from a bank or a wirehouse. You know, it'll update your net worth daily in real time, whenever you feel like looking at it. And more importantly, it'll tell you, and this way, you'll always know where you are, but most importantly, you'll know where you're going. In addition, Ryan and I will take all those statements that are coming in right now. And maybe they're going to be a little late this, this year because the printers aren't working right now, but you know they'll get to you eventually. Download it online. And you can send it to us in a secure email where Ryan and I will take all that information and be certain that you're not stuck with just a collection of investments, that you have a well-diversified portfolio and you have the three key elements of a successful strategy, which starts with diversification. Are you truly diversified? Do you have a portfolio that can withstand this unbelievable volatility we've experienced over the last couple of weeks? We will look at the cost. You know, a lot of costs in portfolios are hidden. We have x-ray vision. Better yet, we actually have tools that allow us to look behind the curtain and see exactly where these mutual funds and annuity companies hide the cost and tell you that, you know, you're not paying anything. You know, there's no such thing as an investment that doesn't have a fee. And income is something that's so important as we go into retirement, because once you hit retirement, there's an income gap. The paycheck doesn't come in anymore. We need to fill that gap with a dependable, repeatable income stream, as well as you who are retired. Remember, your number one goal once you're retired is to keep it that way. And that all depends on the amount of repeatable income that your portfolio and your passive income streams can generate. In addition, Ryan and I will tie it all together into one total financial master plan, where we'll answer that age old question, are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for close to four decades. Can you believe it? For 46 years, we've been helping families just like yours get from your financial point A to your goals, to your dreams, to your point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. 
So don't waste time. Give us a call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next three callers, you have over $500,000 saved for retirement. We're doing video conferencing while you're quarantined at 844-752-6692. A great time to get on top of your finances at 844-752-6692. A great time to get that second opinion. Make sure you're on track at 844-752-6692. Our team's doing video conferences at 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. <laughs> It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I want to give you the most common sense, practical advice with your planning and investing. And now with taxes pushed out to July, we give you five ways to save on taxes, take advantage of the market volatility, to put some more money in your pocket, save on those taxes. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, 555-888. That's the word bullish, 555 555- 888, we give you five ways to save on taxes. There's a lot you can do right now from a tax perspective. We give you a blueprint, a breakdown, how to do that. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish at 555-888. That's the word bullish at 555-888. And now we have a very, very special guest on the show. My colleague, Bob's colleague, certified financial planner, Courtney C. Money Dominguez. There's always a lot to say. Court, great to have you on the show. Great job on Fox Business this week. As always, you know, you're just that guiding light out there. So Bob and I are honored you have time for us too. <laughs> Doing my best. I'll take it. And this is our spotlight segment. Every week, what we do is we dissect a real financial plan and we talk about how we helped a person or a couple get on their path to financial freedom. You worked on a case recently. Why don't you give us the breakdown and how you helped this couple get basically on their way to where they should be with their financial plan. Yeah. So just to give you a little bit of breakdown, this couple came to us and they've been doing their investments on their own and they've been doing a very good job of saving and a very good job of accumulating their wealth. But they said, we just really want to make sure that we're set up. We have enough income to retire on. We have enough assets. We're just not, don't have anything really to be worried about something we're not seeing. They said, we think we're doing this great. So we sat down with them. We looked at their investments and some things I liked is they like really low cost investments. Like they had a lot of Vanguard funds in there, which I gave them a lot of props for, which is great. I think the biggest problem I saw when they came to us though, is they had a lot of money accumulated in just a few funds. And they said, well, we're really well diversified. I have several different Vanguard funds. We spread it out over the whole markets. What they didn't realize is that all of those funds actually owned the same underlying investments. <laughs> Yes. We talked about this earlier on the show today. It's this mm-hmm. irony where you think you have all these funds, they have different names, maybe they're with different advisors. And then you look under the hood per se, and you own all the same things. So you're not really diversified. Yeah. Yeah. Just to give you an idea, they had 20 different funds in their accounts and the top wow. holding was Microsoft, which was owned in 10 of their 20 funds. So half of their funds had the same top holding. And they thought they were really well diversified, but really, if you actually look under the hood, they were just had a really repetitive investment strategy because everything was doing the same thing. It reminds me of that old Capital One commercial. Do you know what's in your wallet? And the same <laughs> thing here. Do you know what's in your mutual funds? And it's so true. A lot of these mutual funds all own the same thing. And Bob, as you know, I mean, that, that can be a recipe for disaster, especially when the market goes down. Well, you know, the old adage is if you want to create wealth, concentrate. If you want to maintain your wealth, diversify. So if you're lucky enough to have all your money in Microsoft for the last 10 years, you look pretty smart. But if you were in Microsoft the previous 10 years from that, you look pretty dumb. So when it comes to your retirement, you really want to look smart, don't you think, Court? Definitely. Exactly. And I think it just also goes back to, we've talked a lot about dividends recently and how there are certain companies who maybe aren't going to fare as well through the coronavirus circumstances that are going on. And some companies are maybe not going to increase their dividends, actually having to cut them. And if you own a lot of these few companies, your dividends aren't quite as secure as if you have them a lot more spread out. So you just really want to try to make sure you have that certainty built in. So when times like this happen, you're not at the helm of just a couple of companies. Even if you have funds, you might still, that might still be the case for you. Yeah. And one of the ideals when we build a financial plan for you is we want to build enough income that you don't need to touch principal. And if I'm reading this right, Courtney, you did this whole analysis, you're able to increase the income for this couple in their portfolio by over a hundred thousand dollars a year. And that's just getting more conservative and more diversified, like that's an insane number. 
That's exactly right. And I think that's something that a lot of our clients right now are really happy about is even with the uncertainty in the stock markets, if you know that you're going to get over 100000 a year of interest and dividends, you don't have to be so concerned about all this volatility and it's going to make it a lot easier to sleep at night. So making sure you have that built in just makes times like these a whole lot easier. Yeah, it just it goes to show that almost every time you have anyone who's working for a living, they're building a portfolio of accumulation. And the accumulation phase, you know, dividends aren't the biggest concern. It's, you know, growing your principal. But when you're retired, you know, you can't buy lunch with relative performance. You can't say, well, you know, I'm going to buy lunch today because my Apple stock went up in value or my Microsoft stock went up in value. You actually have to pay the bill. So it's when we are all able to go out to lunch again, of course. Yes. But, you know, income's so important when it comes into retirement and, and 100,000, I don't know about you, but I could use an extra 100,000. So I think that that problem went over pretty well, Courtney. It did. I think we could all use an extra 100,000, Bob. I think that's a, <laughs> it's a good solution for all of us. So well, yeah, we'll take it. That's why everybody should come and see Courtney or at least see her virtually right now to see what kind of income you can get in your portfolio, because that's really the most critical element when it comes to retirement planning. Yeah. And just to shift gears for a minute too, Court, the other thing is, is this couple looks like they're very close to retirement. What are their ages? Uh, they're both in their early 60s. And looking at this allocation, they had over 60% of their money in the stock market, which with this last downturn, man, that is a big drop if you have that much money in the market. If, they're, if you're that close to retirement or that age, that's a lot of money to have at risk. Exactly. And that, that's one of the big things we went over with them is right now they have just a couple of funds, which they thought were really well diversified. But the big keys are you're not diversified and actually taking a lot more risk than they realized they were taking. To be fair, they were happy to take more risk than somebody their age, but it was even more than I think they, they even understood they were taking. So it's really good to get that broken out and just understand what you are exposed to if there is going to be a downturn like we're seeing right now. Yeah. And it's always interesting. Risk is probably a little bit different back before March than what our risk tolerance is now that we're you know in the belly of the beast per se. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, well, first off, great job in this case, Courtney. As always, as Bob likes to say, another financial masterpiece. Thank you so much. Happy to, happy to be here as always. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, this is the kind of review I need. I need to know how diversified I am. Do I have a lot of overlap in my portfolio? Do I have an income plan in place for retirement? Well, here's your shot. We have two slots left. If you have over $500,000 saved for retirement, myself, Bob, Courtney C. Money Dominguez, Certified Financial Planner, will run for you our total financial master plan. We're going to do that with no obligation or cost while you're home quarantined. All you need to do is get those statements. You can send them over through a secure server where we can review all that information and build for you your own personalized financial portal so you can get a bird's eye view of your entire financial picture, take a look at everything. We're going to look at all these critical components. We're going to look at the income plan. What is your income plan? Do you have one? If you don't, we're going to show you how to optimize the income on your portfolio. We're able to increase the income on this portfolio by $100,000 a year so that you have an income plan no matter if the market's up or down. We're going to look at diversification. Do you know what's in your portfolio? You probably don't. We're going to break it out for you, show you what diversification you actually have, show you where the flaws in your portfolio are, where you need to protect yourself and how to bulletproof yourself for retirement. And we're going to look at fees and taxes. There's a lot of hidden costs in your investment portfolio you probably don't know you're paying. And those mutual funds, annuities, insurance products, we're going to show you where all the high costs are, show you how to reduce costs, and then optimize your portfolio for taxes. There's so many things you can do right now from a tax perspective, tax swaps, Roth conversions, tax-free income. We're going to show you how to optimize that portfolio for taxes, tie it all together into one total financial master plan, determine the most critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now we have worked on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. If you're one of our next two callers, you've saved over 500000 for your retirement. Rye, Courtney, and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost. Won't be a plan unless you text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Well, another great show. Court, as always, we appreciate you being home quarantined and all of our 
team members are and just working harder than ever. So question for you, when this is all over, what's the first thing you want to do when you're not in quarantine? Well, you guys know me. I spend almost half my time in San Diego, so I'm going to get out there as soon as I can. <laughs> See the family. That sounds like a really good plan to me. Exactly. Um, not to mention better weather. Well, you know, Riley, by the time this is over, we'll be back at Ocean City together and uh, looking forward to hitting the beach and the boardwalk with, with you and, and your siblings. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to hanging with both of you. It's been a great weekend, great show, and as always, be bullish. Hey, this is Ryan Payne, co-host of No Pain, No Gain, financial radio and podcast. And if you're thinking to yourself, I need a game plan these volatile times for my financial planning, well, you can get a second opinion. You can get a game plan with us. Simply go to www.paincm.com slash game plan. That's paincm.com slash game plan. We can help you out. Make sure you get you on the right track here in these volatile times. Make sure you're making right decisions for your retirement plan. You can check it out. Simply go to paincm.com slash game plan. That's paincm.com slash game plan. Check it out.